Florida. Yesterday I shared with you something of the work of the Trinity and that we have a, a God in three persons. And not only does our statement of faith here at Waterfront uh, state uh, our belief in the Trinity, but think of the Apostles' Creed. The uh, Creed reminds us that we believe in uh, God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. It says that, that we believe in Jesus Christ, his Son, conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, and so on. And then it says, uh, and in the Holy Spirit. And it's to the Holy Spirit I want to draw your thoughts this morning. And I want us to, I want to share with you rather something of the Holy Spirit's work in the life of the believer. Can I suggest to you that first of all, the new birth is brought about by the work of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus makes that clear to us in John's Gospel, chapter 3, in his dialogue with Nicodemus, that we are born of the Spirit of God. And thank God this morning for the Holy Spirit that uh, uh, caused regeneration in my life. And I'm sure that you in your home this morning can rejoice in that same truth. The, then the Holy Spirit also indwells the believer. Paul reminds us that we are temples, we are vessels of the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit of God lives and indwells us. Then, of course, we know from Paul's writings in Romans chapter 8 and verse 16 that the Holy Spirit gives us the assurance of our salvation. The Holy Spirit testifies with our spirit that we are born of God. And then, of course, the Holy Spirit, or by the baptism of the Holy Spirit, it enables us to speak in new tongues. You can think of the day of Pentecost and the Holy Spirit descended and they, and they all were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And then, of course, the Holy Spirit bestows gifts upon believers and we read of that in uh, um, 1 Corinthians 12 and 14 and then the Holy Spirit speaks to the believers thank God this morning for the still small voice <clears throat> of the Holy Spirit that speaks to us Speak, Lord, in thy stillness, as on thee we wait, said the old hymn writer. Thank God that uh, sometimes when we come before him in prayer and we just wait in silence, uh, the Holy Spirit speaks. Thank God that when we are witnessing to uh, men and women, sometimes uh, the Holy Spirit whispers uh, something into our ears that we may share uh, with them. And then the Holy Spirit teaches and guides us as believers. Did not Jesus say that he would guide us and he would lead us into all truth? Thank God as well that the Holy Spirit opens the scriptures to us. When we come and we study God's word without the aid of the Holy Spirit, the word of God is in one sense is nothing more than words on a piece of paper. But when the Holy Spirit causes the word to come alive to us, God communicates something of himself and of his gospel to us. And then, of course, the Holy Spirit, according uh, to Ephesians 3.16, strengthens the believer in his inner being. And I'm sure during these days of lockdown and, uh, and uh, this pandemic, when you have felt weak, you have experienced something of the Holy Spirit coming and strengthening us. Thank God that the same Holy Spirit who strengthened Jesus in his darkest hour is available to you and to me because Jesus prayed to the Father and he sent the Holy Spirit to be our comforter. Then the Holy Spirit 
enables the believer to worship in spirit and in truth. Think of the words of Jesus in John's Gospel, chapter 4, when he reminds us that God seeks worshippers who would worship him in spirit and in truth. And Romans 8, 14 reminds us that the Spirit leads the believer. We can think of Jesus and we read, and he was led of the Holy Spirit. And so that same Holy Spirit leads and guides us. And the believer is empowered by the Holy Spirit. Thank God that when Jesus prayed, that he prayed that God would grant us the Holy Spirit and he would come and empower us. And so my prayer this morning is that we would experience something of the dynamic of the Holy Spirit at work in our lives. And, and the list could go, could, could go on. It's endless, the Holy Spirit at work in our lives. But the clock tells me this morning that I must pause there. And so we say, Holy Spirit, we welcome you. And Father God, we thank you for sending the Holy Spirit. Have a great day. God bless you.